We're here today at Chatham House. A climate change conference is about to start, but outrageously, it's sponsored by Shell and features the Canadian Environment Minister Peter Kent as a keynote speaker. Now Shell and Peter Kent together are effectively strangling climate action by lobbying very, very aggressively against effective climate policy such as the EU Fuel Quality Directive, such as higher caps on carbon emissions. Um, and we're really concerned that this conference, by allowing Shell to sponsor it in Canada to speak, is essentially giving them a legitimacy that they don't have, they don't deserve. They are part of the problem and they are using their power to scupper effective climate action. I'm very sorry, it's a very brief security announcement. Um, I'm afraid lots of those schools got into this conference. Sorry. Those pretenses have actually managed to make it well to us. Because Mr. Peter Kent claims to be here to talk about solving climate change, but actually he's a member of a dangerous anti-environment group called the Canadian Government, <laughs> who are committed to wrecking the climate uh, by handing out vast swathes of indigenous people's land to oil companies to carve up and extract some of the most polluting of them on the planet. In order to pursue their radical ideology, expanding the past amateur beyond your sense. So I just want to. I'm so glad you're you're here and, and being active here. Oh, good security here. He just said you want to remove him. Um, he's an intruder. He shouldn't be here. He's, a, he's the agent of a of a of a rogue petro state of Canada. Um, he's here to wreck the conference with his um, absolute nonsense and greenwash. So um, these people will be back in a moment to remove him. Don't worry, everybody. Uh, don't worry. By the way, all this is on the record. Thank you. expensive to actually be in the room um, but Shell not only do they sponsor events such as this um, but they also have been lobbying as freedom of information requests reveal lobbying governments around the world and in Europe on the fuel quality directive which seeks to reduce the carbon intensity of fuel because that wouldn't that that is not compatible with a doubling of, of tar sands production in Canada 